People absolutely love Troy, Michigan, and for a lot of very good reasons. In this video, we're talking about everything you need to know about living in Troy. This has to be the number one most requested city I get on this channel. I've got some information about Troy, but it's not all good. Da, da, da. Got us some drama in there, right? Bring the drama for your mama. Don't be talking about my mama! If you're new here, my name is Paul and I make videos like this one to help people make better decisions when moving to, from, or around the state of Michigan. So if you like that sort of thing, consider watching some of the other videos on this channel. And if you want to make a move in the next three days or three years, reach out because I'm also a full-time real estate agent and I can probably help you do that. The information for me is all below. Or just reach out and we can just talk, right? Talk about Troy, talk about other cities. I love to chat. All right, so Troy. Oh boy, let's talk about Troy. See what I did there? Like a city rhyme. Grow up near Detroit, like I'm an M. <laughs> yeah, that's totally not the same thing at all. So the first thing you need to know about Troy, Michigan is the size. Troy, Michigan is big and it is populated. I mean, like every city's populated, but like Troy is very populated. The actual land mass of Troy is over 33 square miles, but it was actually bigger than that years ago. But Paul, how does the city shrink? Excellent question, my new friend. Royal Oak, Birmingham, and Clawson were all part of Troy years ago, but they like broke off like little slivers of an iceberg, like floating away. They didn't really float away, they just sort of like stayed there. Not literally, of course. And as of 2020, over 87,000 people called Troy their home. So like I said, it's populated. Lots of people populate. That makes Troy the most populated city in Oakland County. How many times am I gonna say populated in this video? Snap, crackle, pop. It's actually the 13th most populated city in the entire state of Michigan. Just stop the pop. Oh man, people are gonna hate me. You bring it on yourself. Back in 1960, the population of Troy was only 19,000. That's some huge growth. Next thing you need to know about Troy, Michigan is the location. Location, location, location. Everybody wants to know about the location. I already told you that Royal Oak, Birmingham, and Clawson all broke off from the city, so it's close to those, obviously. It's what we call the east side, so it's like on the east side. Not really off the Woodward Corridor, but it's close to the other ones, but it's real close. Like step back, you're dancing kind of close, close. <laughs> That's close. So Troy's about 25, 30 minutes away from Detroit and only about 40 to 50 minutes away from the DTW airport. Get your flight on. The traffic going to Troy is probably the biggest con that I hear from people that live there. Going to or coming from Troy, that's what I hear. Like, lots of traffic, Paul. Like, all right, I can't help you with that, but if you work from home, you're gonna love it because you don't have to drive anywhere. If you're looking for Troy, just take I-75 and get off at exit 69 at Big Beaver. Giggity. That entire sentence was true. Sounds terrible though. I guess I could have worded that differently. The next thing you need to know about Troy is the cost of living. The cost of living in Troy is about 10% higher than the national average, but you know, like, so that's not too much, right? That's not bad. It's like a little bit more expensive. Especially if you compare Troy to cities like Birmingham. The cost of living in Birmingham is like 30% higher than the national average. It's expensive. It's really nice, but it's expensive. A lot of the websites that you find out there will say that the average cost of a home in Troy is about $250,000. That's not realistic. That's not real life. You're not gonna find a lot of houses like that. There are 54 homes for sale today in Troy on the market and the lowest one is $252,000. That's the cheapest. The bulk of the houses for sale in Troy are in between 400 and $800,000. I know that's a big range, but again, it's a very big city and it's very populated. Some of the houses go into the millions. I mean, if you've got a big budget, you can just go crazy in Troy. Spend your bucks. The next thing you need to know about Troy is the quality of life in Troy. Troy has over 400 acres of parkland. That's a lot of acres. Not as many as New York Central Park, but still 400. That's a lot. You've got 11 community parks, six neighborhood parks, and three mini parks. But what's a mini park? Excellent question. It's a park, but smaller, mini. Aside from all the parks, Troy is overall just a nice city to live in. Probably why everybody asks about it. Niche.com actually just released a list of the safest cities in Michigan to live, and Troy came out as number one. Numero uno. Way to go, Troy. You're doing it. You my boy, Troy. I don't know about you, but when I think of quality life, I think of parks and safety. Because that's 
happy, like have a nice uh, quality life. If you're familiar with any of the other cities around Michigan or Metro Detroit, Troy reminds me a lot of Novi. So if you like the vibe over in Novi, you probably like Troy too. It's like East Side Novi. The next thing you need to know about Troy is the shopping scene. Troy does not have a true downtown, and if you watch any of my other videos, you know that I'm a huge fan of big, awesome downtowns, or even small downtowns. I just like a good downtown. Like, give me a good downtown, I'll, I'll get down with a good downtown. You always have to talk like that. So that's sort of a negative, but Troy's been working really hard to make it super walkable. So the whole area, the whole shopping, zone is pretty walkable right now. Troy's also home to the Somerset Collection, which is one of the nation's largest shopping malls. I know people say the shopping malls are dead, but not Troy, alive and well. There are over 180 stores at the Somerset Collection. That is a big freaking mall. If you can't find it there, they don't make it. I'm just kidding. I mean, they, they don't have everything there. You just like go on Amazon. That's what everybody does, right? Especially if you're into weird stuff. If you're into weird stuff, they don't have it. You would know. <laughs> Troy does have a Target, but they don't have a Costco. You know, like, you know, a lot of people want to know about Target, Costco. There's a Whole Foods, so you've got Whole Foods, you've got Target. You just have to, like, travel a little bit outside of Troy to get to a Costco. So it's not far. And Troy is home to the Michigan Design Center. There's over 35 showrooms at the Michigan Design Center. It's filled with furniture, fabrics, tile, rugs, lighting, kitchen stuff, cabinetry, art. If you're going to renovate or build a house, just go to the Michigan Design Center. Take a look around, buy some stuff, or don't buy some stuff. Just Use it as like inspiration. The next thing you need to know about Troy is the schools are amazing according to Niche.com and a bunch of other websites. Just look around. Niche.com actually released its list of the top school districts in the state of Michigan and Troy made it really close to the tippy top of that list. Kids or no kids, that's just a really good list to be on, no matter what. I actually made a whole video about the top 10 school districts in Michigan according to Niche.com and you can check it out here and I'll see you there.